Hello and welcome to problem four. This one's slightly tougher than the ones we've done before and requires a touch more code, but this is my solution in Python. So this one we have to find the largest palindrome product. So palindromic number reads the same both ways. The largest palindrome made from the product of two digits is 9009 which is the sum of 91 times 99. So find the largest palindrome, palindrome made from the product of two three-digit numbers. So essentially the number has to read the same both ways, and we have to work that out three-digit number this time. So the first thing I think we need to do is create a small little function. And that function will be created by typing in def, so define our function, and then we'll call it is palindrome. And we'll put an i at the end as the value. And what we want to do is return that value as string str i. So convert the integer i into a string and check if it's equal to str i. And what we're going to do is look at that text string and read it backwards. So inside those, I'm just reading it backwards. We'll go into those in some of the tutorials I've got on the site for using Python and other programming languages. Okay, so that's our little function created, and that takes care of the checking to make sure it is a palindrome. What we need now is just a little holder, so let's call that max p. And that will equal zero. And what we need to do at the very end is print max p. So hopefully that will return our answer. So the downside is now we have to go through and we'll do the formula. So we'll start with a for loop. So for i in range or x range this time, open brackets, and our numbers, remember, are three digits, so 100 up to 999. Close our brackets, colon, press enter. We're also going to need to do another loop, so let's start that here, for j in x range open brackets, i plus 1, comma, 1,000, close brackets, colon. And we're going to create another variable, so we'll just call that p for palindrome equals i times j. So we're just going to multiply the numbers together, just press enter. And we need a little if statement here, so if is palindrome, open bracket p, and p is greater than the max p. So all we're doing there is checking if it is a palindrome, first of all, and whether or not it's greater than the value stored in max p. And if it is, we need to store max underscore p equals p. So that will replace the value only if it's larger. And that's it. It's not too difficult. We've got a little function here that creates our palindrome to start with or checks our palindrome. And it does that by converting the number into a string um, and then checking that string against a version of the string going backwards. We've got a little storage here for our maximum value. Then we're just going to loop through each of the numbers and adding one each time. And then we're going to check to make sure it is a palindrome. If it is, and it's greater than this max p, add it to the list. So you just need to save that file, give it a run, and hopefully we'll come up with the answer. So the answer is 906609. So it reads the same backwards and forwards. 
Hopefully this has been useful. Like I said, there's many more tutorials on my channel with Python that explains all of those functions and details in depth. If they're not there yet, they will be. Thank you for watching. Hope it's been useful.